Hey y'all, it's your girl Tay with the T. And do me a favor and share this video so we can bring some awareness to this family. Please, 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 and more please. Thank you. Breaking and difficult to accept. Even though I went to the front row and I seen her gone, but my child right here. Back in December, Patricia Bouncy says her daughter, Nikita Washington, went to Harper University Hospital to have this bundle of joy, Nathaniel, her 12th child. But only Nathaniel came home. And I said, Lord Jesus, you ain't calling to tell me what you think. I think you telling me. She said, yes, mama, Nikita is gone. Nikita died at just 35 years old. Several of her children, who you see here, are so young, but already no pain. They taking their heart. They have good days and they have bad days. And now the entire family is searching for answers as they wait for the results from an autopsy. If she died naturally, I want to know. If one of them doctors did something, I want to know that too. Fox 2 reached out to Detroit Medical Center and we were sent this statement offering condolences, but telling us that due to patient privacy laws, they can't discuss this case. I'm hurt. I'm confused. But this grandmother says she must fight to keep Nikita's children together, the oldest being 19 to the youngest Nathaniel, who was barely two months old. I already thought about it and I will fight to keep them together and keep it with me. And that means this family needs help. I have all 12 of our kids right now, so I got to get a bigger house because my house too small. The family is not only in need of a new place to call home, they also need a new vehicle. This family vehicle was involved in an accident and it's barely drivable. A GoFundMe account has been started on behalf of the family to help them get a new start. To learn how you can donate, go to fox2detroit.com. Whatever God sits on your heart to do, because we appreciate everything. But for now, this grandmother just wants Nikita's children to know just how much their mother loved them. I tell them every day, your mother is right here. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News. Reality. As y'all can see in the clip that I just played, Miss Nikita Washington of Detroit went to Harvard University Medical Center in Detroit. She's 35 years of age. She went there to give birth of her 12th child. Unfortunately, she did not return home to the rest of her children, but the baby did. They said that there was complications during birth to where Miss Nikita was not able to make it home with her 12 kids which the grandmother is now responsible for which we need to really salute this grandmother we really 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 need to pay homage to this grandmother this story really touched my heart and that's why i'm sharing it so that way you guys can share it and we can get this story out there and we can get this grandmother and these children the help that we you know the help that they need let's say it that way the help that they need so you the viewer my subscribers if y'all can push this video out there so we can get this family some help that would be deeply appreciated 35 years of age. She was so young, okay? She has 12 children ranging in the age of 19 to barely two months old. She went to give birth to the last baby and never made it home to the rest of her babies, which her grand, the grandmother of these kids, like I said, she really needs to be saluted because with all of nothing, she took all 12 of these kids in. No matter how hard it might be, no matter how rough she she might have it if it was nothing else that she had to provide for them kids other than love she was going to do that and make it work so they have a GoFundMe for this family for them to get the help that they need they also have the information in the video where you can I guess send your donations which if you can please do if you can also do me a favor, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. So that way we can get this video on the algorithm so that this family can get the help that they need. I'm going to also put some pictures of Miss Nikita Washington in this video and her children so you can see the innocence and in which was left behind. And for me, it touched me.
it, it really touched my soul. So for, I felt that it was necessary for me to come and do this video. On top of the fact they're still waiting for the autopsy report for Miss Washington to even find out what went wrong during childbirth, child labor, that she didn't make it home to the rest of her babies. Like I said, everything was fine. She went in December to go give birth to her 12th child and the only person that returned home was the baby and she has children that range in the age of 19 to barely two months when i tell you 12 kids from 19 to barely 12 to barely two months old oh my goodness my heart broke my heart is still broken to think the weight that this grandmother may have on her because she has to supersede herself to pour the love into these kids that her daughter once did. And unfortunately, it's not like her daughter did anything to get her life taken. She wasn't out there in the street partying and doing the things that she wasn't supposed to do and wound, ended up in the situation she was not supposed to be in. She went to go do what the good Lord puts us here for, reproduce. And in the process of reproducing, she was not able to return home, which makes this situation so sad because outside of her having those of other 11 children, and not being able to even meet her 12th, it's going to be hard growing up for those children because missing out on a mother's love is something that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. I had my mother and lost my mother. So to never have the chance to interact with my mother or have my mother it would have been even worse than what it is. And for the children that actually experienced her to feel that she left to give them another sibling and never returned home, do it cause some type of mental, you know, situation towards the youngest baby? So this family is dealing with a lot. A lot. A whole lot. So if you can find it in your heart to help them not have to deal with the bare minimums, I, I as a human being would deeply appreciate it. And I also myself will be trying to supersede and send this family something. Anything that I possibly can spare is what I will spare. And hopefully you choose to do the same. And if you're not able to do something far as donate, then just sharing the video itself will be deeply appreciated. Because making other people aware of what the situation is so they possibly can help as well, it will be a beautiful thing. So this has been your girl, Tay with the T. And I came to bring you the story about Miss Nikita Washington and her 12 babies. She went to go give childbirth and was unfortunately unable to return home to her other 11 children and the newborn as well. So like, comment, share, subscribe. This story really broke my heart. Please, I beg of you to do me the favor share 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 and share some more if that's all you can find it in your heart to do or be able to do then please make sure you do that so this video can please get out there so we can all as a unit help as much as we can i thank you i appreciate you and even though you may not feel but the littlest the littlest of help can be the biggest help to someone else. You never know how far the share of this video may go when it comes to helping that family. So if all you can do is hit a button, please do so. And I salute you for that. And not only will I salute you for that, these children will appreciate you for that. So if you can find it in your heart to do that, then please do and also make sure if possible leave a comment on this video to also let me know your feelings on the encounter that miss nikita washington dealt with and if it was you in the situation how would you 
handle it as the grandmother having to take those 12 babies in with little to nothing. I would have done the same thing. Because our love would have had to make it through. It would have been hard enough on them losing their mother. But for them children to have to be separated would have been worse than anything. So I'm happy she found the strength in herself. The love in her heart. And whatever it took for her to be able to do. Whatever it is that she had to do. To take those 12 babies in and keep them together as a unit. So... This is your girl Tay with the T. And if you can find the love in you like I found the love in me, let's share this video, push this video, donate to this family, and let's do what we can do as a society, as a people. Please. T would tell you get that, get that tea with Tay. T would tell you get that, get that tea with Tay.